Hello YouTube and how are you guys doing today? As you can see this is the Motorola Atrix and there has been a leak for ICS on it. So let's just get started with the video right away because this is very big news for the Atrix community. So let's click start and you can see it looks stock. Make it Google. So let's sign in really quickly. As you can see um, pretty much it looks almost completely stock as in like the keyboard's a little bit wider. So let me sign in. Okay, so it should be signing in. Hopefully it didn't freeze on me. Okay, there we go. Back up and restore. Yes, I would like to back up my Google account. So first of all, we want to see what is working in this leaked build. Supposedly, hopefully, WebTop, the new version, and uh, the fingerprint scanner hopefully works. So we're going to find that out right now after we, we're done with this. Uh, let's just skip setup for now. Next. You need to, okay, there we go. So you can see it has the Atrix 2 wallpaper for now. Click tutorial and skip since we know how to use ICS. Hello. Pull down the st status bar to see missed calls, incoming messages, and other notifications. And make yourself at home. Typical ICS. And there we go. As you can see, we got the Google search bar up there. And overall, it is very smooth. You might not be able to see it on the camera, but it is indeed smooth. You can see we got some social widgets, Facebook, for example. And you can see there is some stuttering since this is a leaked build. Okay, add apps to home. And you can see we got Google Chrome pre-installed already. We got um, some AT&T bloatware as well. And let's see, more AT&T stuff. We got some dev tools we got nfs shift game and some other stuff let's go to settings and you can see it's almost completely stock except for the icons and then if we go to about phone and you can see right there android version 4.0.4 so this is indeed the latest version of ics it's not jelly bean but at least it's ics so let's go see at the security and screen lock if fingerprints are working. As you can see, there is fingerprints. And you okay, can't choose a print. Let's just put a random number. Continue. Yes, confirm. And let's see. Okay, it will take between three and eight swipes to learn your fingerprints. So let me swipe it really quickly. Okay, now we can do the left hand swipe. Okay. Mm hmm. And there we go. Okay, successfully completed. And hit done. So let's see if it actually, fingerprint scanner actually works. Let's lock the screen and unlock the swipe finger sensor. And there you go, as you can see, I didn't touch the screen at all. I wiped my, uh, swiped my fingerprint, and let's just try one more time to confirm. And there we go, swipe fingerprint sensor, I'm swiping it. And there you go. So, fingerprint scanner is indeed working in this build. Let's see if the camera works, because in prior builds of CM9 and CM10, as you can tell, the camera was a little bit... Uh, you know, lesser quality due to no drivers being available. So as you can see, the camera works fine. It's nice and smooth. Let's see video recording because that was a big one in CM9 and CM10. So let's go to settings. And if you can see that, it says video resolution HD plus 
1080p, let's try to focus it. Doesn't want to be, there we go, video resolution HD+. Plus. As you can see, you can zoom in with the volume key, let's just record something. Yeah, you can see it does the little recording sound. As you can see, it is pretty smooth for recording video. And it has a little microphone icon. Oh, so you can mute your microphone. So yeah, there we go. So everything is working properly in video and camera. So let's see what else we've got. We got, let's see what widgets we have. Uh, we have a stock analog clock widget. We got bookmarks. We got the calendar. Pretty much stock widgets. Uh, we got a new music widget. Uh, everything else looks the same. So new weather widgets and Twitter below world clock. Let's see this world clock. Let's put in a new home screen. And hit done. And as you can see, it says touch to select the city and stuff. So you can set multiple clocks on that. So overall, it is complete stock. It is a fully functional build. Wi-Fi works. Uh, let's see if 4G or 4G, as they call it, HSPA Plus works on this build. So we've turned off uh, Wi-Fi, and let's see if, uh, you know, 4G works. So let's connect to the Play Store. Okay, continue. Okay, accept. And as you can see, it is fully connected to 4G and it is loading up the page pretty fast. As you can see, it is smoother than, you know, gingerbread and other than that in the old blur. But yeah, there you go. Let's see. Um, and then in the next demonstration, we'll also show, uh, show WebTop and its full functionality. As you can see, WebTop um, has changed significantly since the Gingerbread and Froyo days. As you can see, now it's basically a full-fledged tablet mode instead of a Linux-based, you know, Debian and stuff. So now as you can see, you got your tablet layout, your tablet home screen transitions, and stuff like that. And that's basically it for WebTop as well, as that's all there is to it now. It's just a big tablet mode. So now if you have a lap dock or so, an accessory like that, um, you can use it as a big tablet. So there you go. That's basically all there is for, uh, you know, WebTop for now. But overall, it is fully functional. There is some occasional reboots. But you can also mirror your displays to a big screen TV like this, for example. So yeah, that's about it for WebTop. And be sure to stay tuned for more news on Motorola, Atrix, Leak coverage, and stuff like that. Because this is very big news for the whole development community at XDA. So yeah, if you want to know more, I'll put links in the description to find out this information. So I'll see you later, guys. Peace.